Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some of my best box baseline inbounds plays that you can run with your youth basketball team. If you are looking for a great basketball workout, check out these Victorum bands. They are absolutely amazing. You can attach them onto a pole, you can work on your first step, or somebody can hold you back and you can run with it and work on your legs. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I am gonna show you some of my best box inbounds plays. Now, box inbounds plays are very simple basketball plays that you can run to get the ball inbounded which means to get it in play. But anyways, these are plays that generally you can use at any age group, even the youngest, even six years old, even they can run these basketball plays. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. So here in our first play that I'm going to show you is, first we're going to have one and two setting a screen up top for four and five. They're going to set a screen up, and then players 5 and 4 are going to cut towards the rim, either on this side or that side. Either way, they should be open, or at least hopefully one of them should be open. Now, what can happen as well is what we're hoping for is our number one options is for 5 or 4. Now, at the same time, we want player 2 to be our backup. He's going to go and use player 1 as a screen. He's going to pop out. I always like having a backup player just in case our two main options are not open and he should be open out in the wing to get the ball inbounded. Now in our second baseline inbounds play what we're going to run is we will have player 1 and player 4 setting a screen down for 5 and 2. At this time player 5 is going to go and roll around and he's going to go towards the middle of the key. He may be open. And then our second option is going to be player two rolling out to this wing for player three to, to pass the ball into him. Now afterwards, player three could pop up for a three-point shot as well, or we could move around the key. Actually, it wouldn't be him. It would be player one. If you wanted to swing the ball around the key for a score, that would be an option as well. Now in our third box baseline inbounds play, what we're going to have is screening across player 4 and player 5 screening for player 2. At this time, player 1 is going to cut across. He may be open somewhere, whoops, somewhere in this area. Same as player 2 may be open somewhere in this area. Player 2 could also cut down towards the basket if he sees that the whole key is open. And then what we will have is player 4 screening for player 5 for the low post as a backup to get that ball in bounds so that in case 1 and 2 were not open. Now in our fourth play this is the cross and basically what we will have is player 1 setting a screen across same as player 4 and now these two players they're either going to be going down just across like this or they could be crossing up and across like that. And if that's the case, we may have player 5 open in the post or player 2 open at the wing. Our backup here would be player 1 popping out to this 3 point line area for the long inbounds pass. He would be our backup. Now our 5th box inbounds play is going to be very similar if you have seen a prior video. I've got a few this video has been or this play has been on multiple different videos but in this next play is called the S play except it's the S box play which means shoot. S means shoot. So basically these guys are the screeners, these guys are the shooters. The idea behind this is for players four and five to come down and screen. This is going to be a sandwich screen and one of these two players is going to use that sandwich screen and pop out. So if player one, if his name is Bob, we can say SB or box SB, box shoot Bob. And from there, these two players will come together. Player one will pop out. And then player two is going to be our safety up top. Now, what could happen is player five could roll off as well if he can trap his player behind him. And he may be an option to inbound the ball to him as well. Now, in our sixth box inbounds play, what we will have is player five setting a screen down for player one. 
and player one is going to use both five and four as a screen he's going to be popping out to this free throw line extended and at the same time we're going to have player two setting a screen for player five to go down to the post he is our backup he is our main option both of those options however are very good options to score now in our seventh box baseline inbounds play what we will have is player two setting a screen for player five and at the same time player five is going to use that screen he's going to then use player four as a screen as well and he is going to go and cut down towards the rim now what we will have is he may be open down there and at this time after player two sets that screen he's also now going to set a screen for player one and one is going to pop out to the free throw line extended he may be op open as our backup and our third backup, or our, technically our second backup, will be player four just popping out to the three-point line for the long lob pass. Now, our eighth baseline inbounds play. Yes, there's lots of these. This is just a spread, what we call a spread. So player five is going to just run out to the three-point line. And at this time, player three is going to pass the ball to player five. Player four is going to pop out. This ball is going to be swung around. And at this time, player three is going to inbounds or run inbounds somewhere along that time, and he's going to go and use player three or player two as a screen. At this time, player one is going to pass the ball to player three, and player three is going to take that long three point shot. Meanwhile, player four and player five need to get down to the key, as majority of the time, player three or at least a player from this side of the court, when they shoot, if they miss, a lot of the times it's going to bounce off to this side, which means we have two in or two rebounders on the side that it'll probably go to, and then one on the short side in case it does bounce back. Now in our ninth baseline inbounds play, what we need to do is we want to get player five open. Now if he is a really good player in the low post and they are double teaming him, well, we could do one of two things. We could either get him open, or we can get the player who is not being defended open. Generally speaking, if there's one really good player, they're going to use the defender on the inbounder to go guard that player. So what we could do is we could set a double screen up top, and player 5 could come down to the low post and he may be open for the layup. The backup would be player 4 popping out. Or what you could have instead is to use player five or the two defenders on him let's call it player four and five as a decoy and let's say there's no defender on player three what all you need to do is that player who's getting double teamed the whole time have player one pop out that's going to bring his defender out player three is going to inbound the ball to player one all player three needs to do is just step inbounds and that's going to be a quick easy layup. Basically the moral to that play is to get the player who's getting double teamed as far away from the ball as possible. And in our ninth and final play what we're going to have is player one setting a screen up for player four who's going to pop out to the free throw line extended and then he's going to receive that ball from the inbounds pass. At this time we're going to have a screen on player 5 on both sides, the inside and the outside. Player 3 is going to run inbounds, he's going to pop out to the 3 point line to get out of the way. And at this time we're going to get player 5 either rolling inwards for an alley-oop or a nice easy chest pass layup. Or this could be a bounce pass or a chest pass into him if he goes over top and cutting down because generally speaking the key is going to be open in this play. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed these 10 box baseline inbounds plays. They are very effective and I hope they help your team. Anyways, if you have liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe. I do post new videos every single day, so I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hey guys, quick, 10 second ad, or at least I'm going to try for 10 seconds. I have a basketball defense book that I know you will enjoy. Basically, anything below that free throw line, this whole area, gets a double team, so try it out. Check out the link in the description. It is called The Unbeatable Basketball Defense. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, 
or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.